will now to lead us in the opening prayer, Miss Ebony McMorris. Make some noise, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is an honor to be here on this evening to honor you all. My name is Ebony McMorris. I'm the new White House correspondent for American Urban Radio Network. So I'll be fielding any questions that you need asked in that briefing room. <laughs> but let us all bow our heads just for a quick moment of prayer. God, tonight we come gathered in this room with a spirit of gratitude to recognize the talent, gifts, and anointing that are represented by the accomplished women being honored tonight. In these difficult times, oh God, let us know that love can be a bridge, even though we're going through trying times. We know that it's gonna take a miracle, oh God, but let us use our imagination to bring this world together. Let us remember our song, count our blessings, and know that maybe we can find a cure to what is ailing broken hearts. In the end, we know and will recognize that you are bigger and our songs that you give us carry power as we dream a world that sometimes may be a world of difference. We know that it all begins with us, oh God. Let us remember our songs, songs of freedom that were the heartbeats to our movements, songs that gave us strength to walk away, to say no, and songs that led us to some say I do, and even to passionate kisses. As we bow our heads in remembrance, stir up new songs that liberate, comfort, and confront. And before we depart, let a song ring in each of our spirits that remind us, oh God, that we have come this far by faith and you have not failed us. Amen. And now, a beautiful heart performance by Miss Maria Antoinette. Give it up. Welcome to the women's first inaugural Women's Songwriter Awards Hall of Fame. So I'm just so excited to be out here in Washington, D.C. Um, congratulations to you. You just received a prestigious honor. You know what? I sang. I didn't, I didn't get an honor this year. Oh, okay. But I, I, I sang. And I, I, I just saw that you got the award, so maybe that's forthcoming. I'm not sure. Well, now declare that thing. So let us first, with Channel ATV, we're the voice of the people, so introduce yourself. Let us know who you are. Yes. Um, I'm Jo Kia. Um, I am a singer-songwriter, acoustic guitar player, a Christian gospel singer, and um, I have a number one song called uh, Yahweh that was on the gospel charts, number one billboard. Love came rushing in, so fear couldn't happen me. I thought about giving up, but what did what you call Walk and believe, yeah, and who you answer? 
called Let Him In, coming out on July 9th. But I'm so excited and so glad to, to be here and to be here. Yahweh. How did that come about? Like as a like a, as a female songwriter, how do you get inspired? What inspires you? Um, I think for that song specifically, I was inspired by the Lord reminding me not to kind of quit, not to give up. I think I kind of got you know um, feeling like rejected, start feeling just really bad about things not going the way I wanted them to go. And ultimately, the Lord was like, hey, I got to be first, number one, and, you know, don't do it for anything else. You know, and when I had that concept, that idea, you know, I just kind of let everything go and just began to write and just be keep that authenticity. And before I knew it, people were responding. And that was really, really, you know, huge for me, you know, Excellent. before the number one. It was the fact that people responded, you know, to the song. That was just really, really important to me, so. Yeah. I loved it when you sang it. I, I swore you got an award for it. Oh, um, yeah. Like so this evening. I, I, I don't know. Use wow. me. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So Women's Songwriters yeah. Hall of Fame, what yeah. does that mean to you? This is the inaugural year. So what does that mean to you today? Um, that change is happening and we're being recognized and someone's not just talking about what needs to be done, but somebody did something about it. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this is going to be the spark that just catches on like a wildfire. And, you know, I believe we're making history tonight. We are living there history. There was a moment in the room I literally felt like overwhelmed. I was like, this is a lot of greatness, <laughs> like in one place. And just to see the women, you know, before us who have done just amazing songwriting. And uh, it's just it's just huge. It really is. So, um, yeah, this is this is the beginning. I believe that there's going to be many more of right. this and it's just going to blow and spread like a wildfire. So. Excellent. Um, so many things that happened tonight. It is groundbreaking, but I do believe that um, she's onto something. Uh, she's really, really on to something, and I, I'm in agreement with living history right now in this moment. It's a monumental moment, so congratulations. Yeah. Continue to live your truth and um, just minister through Stone. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aww. So let, I, let our audience know where they can find you, um, your Instagram, how they can buy your music. Yeah, okay, so at Jokia Music, y'all. Simple as that, J-O-K-I-A music, Jokia music. Um, you guys can go to my website, godsentbw.com or iamjokia.com. Anywhere music is released, you guys can type in Jokia. That's J-O-K-I-A. And thank you so much for the support and the love. And those of you that don't know me, I'd like to get a chance to know you and build relationships. So I love y'all, and I thank y'all. Thank you for interviewing with us on Channel ATV. Take care. You heard it from me here on Channel 8 TV to hear a Sutton. Ah, this amazing event, monumental living history. Thank you.